Psalms 119, 93. I will not forget thy precepts, for with them thou hast quickened me. Martin Luther once said of the word, The Bible is alive. It speaks to me. It has legs and it runs to me. It has hands. It holds me fast. The Bible is not an artifact or a new literature. It is eternal. Do we have this belief and view of the Bible? The Apostle Peter writes, You have been born again, not of corruptible seed, but of the incorruptible and abiding word of God. When we hear the word of God, it is like a seed that the Holy Spirit spreads in the heart, producing faith and giving birth again. We speak ill of children who forget and disrespect their parents. According to the law of Moses, it was commanded that the parents should bring the stubborn and lazy son to the elders of the city and put him to death. The bottom line is that such a generation does not deserve to live. The New Testament also teaches that sons obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. The first commandment with promise is honor thy father and thy mother that thou mayest live long. He who forgets the word of God which regenerated him is worthy of the same condemnation. How great is the power of the gospel. It redeems us from eternal destruction, delivers us from eternal fire, gives us eternal life and entitles us to eternal blessings. Behold the glory of the gospel that has lifted up hundreds of millions of people to heaven all over the world. It is this wonderful salvation and the heavenly privileges that are to be gained through it that may despise and reject. Let us, the humble ones, worship God the Father who has given us this revelation. May God bless us abundantly.